Hello everyone, and welcome back to more... I guess we're still Labor Deliveries, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Time to go across. How is everyone? Uh, yes. As excited as usual, I see. <laughs> hey. Yep. So, would someone like to do a recap of what happened previously? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I I'm trying to remember what we did last time. Uh, we went to the moor place and buried the guy. We delivered the thing and got what was it? Three gold each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we went back to Nulm and did a bunch of shopping. I think is more or less what happened. Yes. We did the job. Yay! Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Korak, can you roll me 2d10s? Uh, sure. Yeah. Three. 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 Add, add, add um, three golds to your money and 13 three? silver. Yeah. Uh,. Yeah. Uh, it, that that was starting off at zero. Was I supposed to have more than that to start, or? Uh, you you only had brass coins. I had zero. Like uh, we never resolved any of that. Ah. Uh, was I supposed to start with anything? Uh, roll. Uh, was it um four d tens for determined to brass? Thirty one brass. There you go. Cool. Three gold. Do they translate at ten to ten rate or what? Uh, no, it, uh, hang on, I have a pop-up for that, actually. Oh, I see, it's, uh, uh what is it? 20 and 12? It's accurate, in increments of 12, it's, it's the old monetary system. Nice. There you go. <laughs> There's an auto-translate thing in there, actually? Yeah, there is, it's, it's actually pretty handy. But I meant this as well, to remind me, because I keep forgetting. Also the... Uh, it's 12 and 20, it's 12... From brass to yeah. silver and the twenty silver to yeah. gold. Cool. So it is the twenty twelve thing. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I have three thirteen thirty one. Yep. Three one three three one. So Han. What's up? Yeah, you you get three gold as well from, oh, the, shit. from the mission that you missed. Nice. Yeah, you got to talk to a, a pretty chill vampire hunter while you were in the pub, in in the moor place. In, nice. Uh, oh shit! What's the name of the place? Uh, Sterling, uh, Leisheberg. In Leisheberg, you got to have a chat with a pretty chill vampire hunter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, in that case, could I use the money? Uh, I believe it was one gold piece to uh, basically get a blacksmith to fix up my axe. Yes, you can. Very nice. Yeah. That was to remove the debuff it had, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. indeed. So now it is the axe you wanted. It is the cool axe. Yeah, the Chad axe. The, yes. the Slayer's axe. <laughs> that you made yourself. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, so you find yourselves in the city of Noon after uh, your adventure. Um... You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to find out where the, <laughs> the Temple of Sigmar is, but it's probably somewhere <laughs> in the Temple Quarter. <laughs> but yes. You find yourselves in the city of Noon. And, uh... Yeah, so... The Warhammer Fantasy has a thing, Han. That after mm -hmm. the... The current quest has ended, and before the new quest, you can spend the money or save it in the bank. And if you have any remaining money on your, like on your person at, at that time, it's actually gone. It's to incentivize you uh, to kind of spend it. <laughs> yeah. Could you, could you yeah. run that by me again? Yeah. So when the adventure ends and before, before all right, when the new adventure begins, the yeah. money that's in your in on your character sheet is gone. When the what? new one begins, yeah, that's fucking. Bad. Yeah. That's retarded. So you that's can really retarded, that's good because <laughs> it's it's taken account for time having passed and you having spent that money. 
So you, you can either save it in the bank or you can spend it on on equipment and stuff. So I, yeah, I so hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so we have no spending money to go on the next quest. No, no, not yet, not yet. This is what this is. is can you we, finishing can we make up a spending. withdrawal at, at the start of next adventure? You, you, <laughs> yeah. actually, you actually can. Oh, hell yeah. And, uh, and you fact, have to play like a, a Fio <laughs> over a withdrawal. Um, well, the using, using the bank actually has a risk because you could invest <sighs> in a poor investment. You can make oh, a poor can investment. Can I invest in, in Bitcoin? Bank. Uh, you can invest in Bitcoin. In fact, um, I believe Skog and Master Stu met a, a, ra- a rather chat individual last week. Or, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, early, I mean, an hour ago, because it's still the same day. <laughs> yeah. So hold on. Can I bank all my money and then withdraw all my money? Yes. Okay. It seems a superfluous mechanic, honestly. But okay. Yeah. There's a reason. I don't know what it is, but there's a reason for it. I trust it makes sense because everything mm, else seems I'm to make not sense. So sure that. <laughs> no, every, everything else in the long run actually made sense, so I, I trust that this makes sense. I well, just don't understand what it's for. Yeah, I guess we'll see how this turns yeah. out. But yeah, um, what was I looking for? I was looking for the bank boy. Where is the bank boy's sheet? Announced. Oh, is he in Nome? Wizardland. No. Oh. Give me a second while I be dumb and forget where the banker's sheet is. <laughs> Handouts. Test. I think it's under here. Well, I have lost the banker. Oh well. Would you like to go to the bank? I guess we're kind of forced to go to the bank. I, I don't like to, these bankers. Yeah. I think I might just buy myself some gear. You can go and buy yourself some gear. You can go to the bank. Oh, there's the bank. There he is. All right. Yeah. The vampire is not here right now. <laughs> Neither is Wait, the French right. peasant. Hold up. Is the banker a vampire? No, <laughs> but he's Italian. Okay. He's, about, he's <laughs> Italian. That's just as bad. <laughs> well, he's from Marciano, actually. So, yeah, I think he might be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> He's a member of the mafia family. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Roll a basic intelligence check. Okay. Yeah. While I try and figure out where I find out if he's mafioso. All right. Find out if you're stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what did you, you roll? Oh shit. <laughs> so Master Stu. Uh. Sid, Sid Meier. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. I keep saying you're wrong. They wrong That's on purpose. Fine, Sid Meier, yeah, S- Sigbert Meyer, you're uh, on your travels of being a Chad gunman for the. Is it the army? The state army? Yeah, the state army of Averland. You've encountered some uh, Thalian mercenaries who mentioned at one point that they do not like the city of Margiano. Because mm. they tends to be some vampires there. I've heard some spooky urban legends about it. Okay. There might be vampires there. It's a good thing you've never run into a vampire in your life, so that's fine. No. <clears throat> Especially not last week. Mm-hmm. I found the banker sheet, by the way. There he is. So, it'll be fun. All right, Korak, you How happen to be bank? in the bank talking to uh, the assistant banker. Yeah. If you want to drop yourself down, uh, okay. as three boys walk in. <laughs> oh no! Let me open up the. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Let's just put you. Uh, yeah, you can be over there. There you go. He's sitting down, having a chat. You're uh, dealing with the account for the Temple of Sigmar. Yes. Yep. And three boys walk in. Would you like to drop yourselves down? I'm also going to hide the bedroom <laughs> because Pat's not here to go snooping through his underpants drawer.
Oof. Mm-hmm. I believe it's only only Stu was here. Rip. Do you want to talk to the banker, Stu? I I guess we'll do this whole banking malarkey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Hey, hello, hello. Yeah. You were here yes, earlier, studio. weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Wish to uh, open an account, I suppose. Ah. How much would you like to uh, leave with us? Well, this is the question. Yes. Can I deposit it and then take it out again so I don't lose it this session? In this particular session? Or. Yeah. Well, you can do it in this session, but do you mean like over? I don't understand this mechanic. Like it's over a period of time. Lose so money? if you leave the money in, like a, like right now, and then in a week later come back, and you can take it out again. But why can't I just bring it all with me for the next quest? Because the next quest might be in like six months. Uh. But what if I so can I deposit it? Yeah. Wait six months for the next quest, then go back and take out the money again. Yes. Yes. Okay. This. Yeah. All right. Whatever. We'll do that then. We'll deposit everything, and I'll take it all out again. Yeah. Next time. So how much are you are you giving him? Everything. Can you write um, that down somewhere for me? Oh uh, yeah. In the um. Two gold, twenty three silver, and twelve yeah. pennies. A boss already rolled the risk last week, so okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna look for some equipment which I could buy. Yep, you want to go to go to the shop and buy stuff. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back. We'll those, come back to you in a moment. Then, Skog, did you want to go to the bank? Uh, you'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, Korak, I assume you want to go shopping as well. Uh. Get some Chad gear. Uh, I no? don't actually know anything about how gear works in this. So uh. would, that, would that even be helpful? Well, you're about to find out. Ooh. Yeah. The, you see a, 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 a man there with a gun who... I don't know, maybe you might want to convert him to to Sigmar. I'm already fucking uh, Sigmar. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. doesn't know that. Yeah. Oh shit, you see his symbol Hello. of Sigmar. There you go. Okay. Oh, uh. Sigmar. <laughs> ah, excellent. A fellow believer. It is nice to see a a, a, a fellow a fellow devotee around. You don't mind here. What can I do for you? Well, I was just trying to figure out how to raise some funds for the church. Uh, this bank isn't all that uh, generous, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> this is more racism against the Thalians. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, you have any ideas what I could do to... Raise a bit for the church, because uh, that's that's one thing I'm not too good at. I'm good at, you know, religious stuff, but... Is there, I might uh, suggest you uh, speak to either the uh, middle-class merchants, or perhaps uh, inquire with the nobility. I'm sure they would be more than happy to express their gratitude to the to the faith. Uh, if only. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, I've, 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 I've attempted... Uh, what some might more derisively refer to as begging, and that just... it, it doesn't go well. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, also, the, uh, also you... the higher-ups get a bit upset because it makes the church look bad. Yeah. Well, let's see. Can you do provide services to people? Perhaps they will uh, be more inclined to reward you for your talent. Indeed. As a matter of fact, you seem to be going around serving Sigmar. Could you use any assistance from someone with the god's blessing? Uh, perhaps? Uh, you know any benedictions, blessings, Indeed. and such? Indeed, I know the blessings and invocations of our lord. Oh, very good. Well, I, shall... I am 
an ordained priest, after all. I tell you what, uh, I know a few people who are also looking for work. Uh, tell me where I can find you, and I shall uh, inquire if there's any work going around, and then I will call upon you and join us. All right. Well, I, uh, you can usually find me over at the, uh, the, the monastery right over across the street. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Temple district. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally a temple district with all the temples in it. Hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Sigmar's blessings upon you, my, Indeed, my, you too my have. friend. I need to indulge in the economy. Uh, oh, uh, if if you are if you are searching for me and uh, and you run in, but someone else is there, just say uh, just say you're here for Father Rack. Uh, I'll I'll be there. Fondle Rack. All right. Father yeah. Rack. He said. Father right. Rack. <laughs> Fondle Rack. <laughs> what are you thinking, Stu? Jesus. I don't know. Yeah. All right. We're Sigmarites, not Catholics. <laughs> oh God. Well. <laughs> well, okay then. Okay, I invest all my money. Well, I bank all my money, I guess. Yep, cool. Uh, Han. Yes. Can you make a perception test to find a re how how reputable a uh, armor salesman you can find? <clears throat> While you're doing that, I'm going to frantically find the armor section of the book. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm already looking at it currently. What, what page is it? Uh, it is page a little bit above it. it should be page. I've already 300. found it. I've already found it. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Thank you. Now, normally slayers aren't allowed to wear it, but I'm kind of playing a scumbag who doesn't care too much. Mhm. Mm so, I'm still gonna go for that armor. Yep. If the Slayer King can do it, why can't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, can you make a perception test to see how um, right. reputable the retailer you find is? Any bonuses? Uh, ten. Cool. Oh, that's incorrect. Okay. You're incorrect. <laughs> I don't know if I... Actually, it should... The DC should be... 35, but I rolled 56, so that would be... 2 degrees of failure. Okay. Somehow you happened to find the dodgy salesman that Skog was at last week. <laughs> He sells second-hand wares. So ba basically, the stuff that's in the book, but it has the ugly quality. What, what's the drawback of the ugly quality, if I may ask? It's just minus ten on charge te on charm tests. That's it. Oh, I don't, I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah. I actually wanted to look ugly. That, that way, people won't see okay. it. That's great. <laughs> All right. What, what, what kind of armor are you looking for, Han? Uh, da, da, da. I'm probably gonna look for something which is affordable and yeah. something which I can layer. Yeah. How much? Wait a second. I just realized I have a fucking blacksmith. I can just. <laughs> you could acquire mm. materials and make your own armor. Yes. Do you I have blacksmithing tools? I do not have blacksmithing tools because they do are you have a workshop? Expensive. Well, you see, I could probably rent some space. Yes, you probably could just, like, show up at the blacksmith like, Hey! Hey, hey there, I'll, buddy. I'll help, you, I'll help you out with some of your work if I can, you know, yeah, use you could. space to make some for myself. You could do that. Hey, I'm the Slayer. Let me do it or die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could also try that and see how that works out for you. No, I, I think I'll be good on that. Yeah, you might have I to... Guess, what's the conversion rate again for coins? For coins? Uh, oh, I, so one gold coin is 20... 20 silver. Silver? Yeah. Okay. And 12 brass is one silver. Right. Uh, in that case, I'll probably just combine a... Slayer's 
some. Probably see if I can make myself a breastplate. Mm -hmm. And a uh, leather jack underneath. I'm frantically reading the crafting rules. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, so. Actually, that the steel breastplate is pretty expensive. Wasn't it like uh, one third of the price? I think it can... was. Uh, I was actually literally looking for that right now. Um, uh, I don't see it, but I do remember that. Uh, tools. How much silver do you have, Han? Uh, I have five silver, but I've got uh, two gold as well, and okay. 17 pennies. Yeah. So for five silver, the guy will let you rent a workshop for... Um, let me roll a D, uh, D6. He will let you work, just... rent the workshop for three days. Uh, is that enough time to make myself armor? Yes, and other things as well. Alright. You, nice. could, you could craft things and then sell them later. Alright. You yeah. could actually make a profit. You could. Um... Okay, I'll worry about that later. Um, yes, you wanted to craft a breastplate. So, what is a third of the breastplate price is 10. So, 10 divided by 3. It'd be 3, one third. Which I wouldn't have enough for. Then again, how, how expensive is it to just get like a some steel and then hammer that into shape? You know what you could do? What? You could probably make a boiled leather breastplate. Which doesn't have the in impenetrable quality, mm -hmm. but is within your price range. True. See. It's 18 silver, so 18 divided by 3. Actually, what I might just do is I'll make myself some uh, a mail coat mm -hmm. and then stack it with other types of armor because I'm poor and that's more affordable. Yeah, you could do that. So you want to spend three days and build a mail coat for yourself. Yep, yeah. mail coat with uh, a leather jack. Underneath. Yep. yep, you can make a leather jack and a mail coat. Uh, so 12 divided by 3, 4. Three, 3 silver, 1 gold, I believe. Yep, cool. Just uh, mark that off your sheet. Add those to your inventory. And cool. make me a blacksmithing roll. The trade blacksmithing roll please, to determine how good a quality it is. Alright. And it would be at plus 20, as it is a common uh, a common t uh, check. It is a thing you have done before, as you were a blacksmith before you... Uh, I forgot hey. to make this visible. Um, five yes. degrees of success. I got a plus five, actually. Yes. Uh... I need to write that down. Your breastplate you just made has plus five. Uh, has the has a fine quality. Nice. So <laughs> it ended up being the opposite of what you intended, but oh well. Yeah. 
you may add a breastplate with weak point weak points is the quality mm -hmm. it has but also fine All so right. it has, it, get, it grants you plus 10 to, to charm could i assume that that role is also for the uh chainmail uh yeah that reason? would also be the chainmail is also fine you cool. Since I got five degrees of success, would I have also been able to just like make random items for the blacksmith to kind of make back some of the money I spent? We'll we'll factor that in. Um, roll me a d10, and you might make that much in silver. You make six silver nice. for just helping him with like horseshoes and nails and like hinges and stuff. So that, that might bring down the cost that you just spent there. Yep. In fact, it covers the rental <laughs> that you just spent. Right. Are you there, Skug? Uh, he's uh, still here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, he, he's left. Okay. I didn't realize. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see that. Sorry. I didn't didn't notice that before. I just seen it now. That is fine. Um, right, Colrack, did you want to go shopping and find some equipment for your boy? Uh, I don't actually know what equipment's compatible with this. Uh, just kind of tell me what you want and I'll see if I can find something, find a deal for you. Well, I don't just mean the system, like I mean, you know, the character or whatever, like, yeah. Uh... I'm not sure what would be valid to use. Well, put it this way, uh, some sort of like leather jack might be helpful if you're going to go on an adventures. So you uh, don't get okay. stabbed <laughs> as you have no armor right now. Uh, well, that sounds nice. Yeah. Yep. Generally but, speaking, uh, priests of Sigma, or followers of Sigma, wear like any kind of armor up to full ah, plate. Those are war priests, Tom. Huh? He is just a regular oh, priest. Right. As a different class, gotcha. he can, he can technically level up into that class later, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I think the main thing is that y yeah. you don't really see many of them wearing helmets ever. No, no. So if you want to keep to like the etiquette, then mm -hmm. that would be something to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> so they also like hammers for some reason. Um. So yes, oh, Korak. You also wanted a bow. And I believe the party does have a bow in the in the gear, wherever that's stored. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes. Would you like to roll a perception check to see if you can find a reputable retailer who might sell you a a, uh, a leather jack, or would you like to yeah. follow the weird-looking dwarf with the big hair to where he's mm, currently right working? Stalking someone seems completely valid. Yep. So Han, you still there? Yep. A monk walks in, or a priest walks into your shop, your blacksmith's shop, as you're temporarily working here. Hi, welcome to Applebee's. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, well, you know, uh, just a, uh, just a uh, preparing for uh, some job, some unspecified job that I'm going to be doing for a fellow, uh, a fellow believer of Sigmar. Ah, I see. Might it involve um, some battle, perhaps, or skirmishes? Well, this is Sigmar we're talking about. He, 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 he finds that to be overly amusing because that's his only field of interest. So he, after a few seconds of being amused with that, he eventually gets around to. So yeah, probably. I see. Anything I could do for you? Well, uh, you think you could, uh, may, I don't know, put, put together some armor for me, maybe? Oh, yes, that sounds agreeable, if you, um, if you have the coin, of course. Yeah, yeah. I have a, uh, not much, but which is why I'm going to be doing this job, but I do have a little bit. <laughs> if you have coin, Hana's wears. Yes. I knew, I knew that's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, how much coin do you have to spare on this? Because that will uh. determine what I can actually make for you. Well, well, I've heard from merchants who're not really supposed to go around saying that, but I have a, uh, I have a few gold. 
Ooh. Few gold. Hmm. I see. We can uh, we can definitely make something fancy for you with that. Might would you mind being a bit more uh, specific as to your price range? Well, I suppose this is the most important purchase I'm going to make. So anyway, I have three gold crowns and would be happy to spend that on something actually worthwhile. Hmm. I see. After all, saving money doesn't do you much if you, uh, die. Indeed. Well, with that, we can definitely make you a solid mail coat. Would you like to make a blacksmithing check on to see how yes. how well you make a coat for coat wreck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is the, the cost of that? That is... Three gold. Three gold, yeah. Uh, so to make it is one gold. Yes. Yes, it would be. <laughs> Sorry, I was no reading worries. something else. No worries. Yeah. Uh, still plus 20 for the workshop? Uh, yes, plus 20. Cool. Hey, three degrees of success. You know what? It has the fine quality as well. Hell yeah. On only just, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you receive coat rack, a mail coat, which grants uh, armor to locations of body and arms. Uh, two two um, armor points and flexible. You see on uh, the uh, third page. I am on the third page. The gear uh, and magic at the very top. It just says armor. You can write it in there. Ah. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Encumbrance is. What's it called again? Uh, male coat. Okay. Encumbrance is halved, so it's only one, uh, It's only two encumbrance. Oh, nice. When is that from the fight quality? It's when you're nice. wearing it. Okay, it counts gotcha. as half. Wait. Or it counts as is it one less actually? Uh than it. I, I I can't remember right now, but yeah, it's it's not as heavy if you're wearing it. Wait, since I would have made a profit um mm -hmm. from coat rack uh basically coming into my shop mm -hmm. uh and lending my services, would I have been able to make a uh actual plate breastplate instead as I would have been able to afford it. Sure. Add impenetrable then. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, the magic of it, capitalism. It's, it, it's literally the same hard <laughs> except just add the word impenetrable to the front and it's that's it. Nice. Uh, yeah. I like the idea that he's just like yeah. m making sure to stand uh towards the front of the store. Yeah. And like intimidating the shopkeeper to kind of stay back and just stealing his customers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so I so I marked the boxes for the arms and the body, and I put it to two AP. How much encumbrance was it? Uh, well, uh, I think it's just. Oh yeah, two and two encumbrance as well. Two encumbrance. Okay. Two. Yeah. Sorry. And what were the special qualities you mentioned? Uh, it's just flexible. Okay. Yeah. The uh, oh, me flexible and fine. It mm -hmm. grants plus ten to uh, charm. Ooh. Uh, because people see it and go, oh, that's really nice. However, if it gets like scuffed off and all shitty, it, it loses the quality. Right. So, Master Stu, what are you up to in the town of New? Mean uh, I'm not sure. Honestly, I'll look around and see if there is jobs and growth in town. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Can you uh, roll me a d100, please? Yay. 57. Let's see if this is appropriate. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. 
You uh, you counter a renowned board from Thalia, i.e. the guy who works in the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. He, he needs someone to play a prank on the cult of Ulrich. What? Yeah. Hmm. Nah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dumb job. <laughs> Would you like to roll again? I'm on the just job? a guy with a gun. <laughs> Would you like to roll again on the? Oh, uh... I'm not Garrett the thief. From Wait yeah. a second. <laughs> this is not a prank. This is sectarian yeah. violence. Yeah. You know what? Roll three D100s, as, as it actually it actually makes it a, it, an entire quest. I found a table basically that makes the quest. So oh, wow. 64. 64. A shifty smuggler with a shark's tooth necklace. Uh, 18. 18. Needs characters to destroy some incriminating evidence for them. Hmm. So they can witness true pandemonium. What's the next one? <laughs> the, that, that, that's the whole quest. So it, you roll 3D 100s and it's in three sections. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? You go into a pub and you sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. I'll just have have Skog with you. Uh, that's the bank. Where's the bar? That's the bar. There you go. You're sitting down in the bar, and a bunch of uh, local um, what are they called? State, state troops? No, they're what are they called? The local army guys. What are they called again? I forget. Empire it. State Troopers. State. No, they are state troopers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, null guys are red, aren't they? Red and black. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Get some state troops. They come in and they just like push a bunch of tables together and they sit down over here. Cool. Start loudly <laughs> shouting and demanding stuff and being cunts generally. Alright. Yep. <laughs> you can tell the bar staff are not happy. Okay. Yep. Do 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 Some of the uh, sorry other about that. What was that? Mm -hmm. Oh just sorry about that I'm back. Oh okay. Some of the other patrons seem a bit pissed off. Oh what happened? <laughs> They're in well, a maybe bar. They call the cops. You know? And like some state <laughs> troops came in and just like shoved some like tables together and started slapping the women on the butt and uh, being crazy. Are they refusing to support the troops? <laughs> <laughs> Are they being I'm, unpatriotic? Am I in this building? <laughs> uh, you you can you can head head over because it's right next to the uh, right down the road from the blacksmith. So fun. That Han is out. You know what, Han? You can follow him over there because your shift is oh, over. Yeah. In fact, Han, the guy says, you know what? In future, if you're ever looking for work, don't feel free to come by. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be uh, I'd be happy to help you. Oh yeah, no, he's really happy. He made a lot of money off you. How much did I pay? Uh, gold. A gold? Was it? No, it was two gold. Two gold pieces. Two gold. Two gold pieces. You, you got a discount. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. I didn't give any discounts. Yeah, well... <laughs> the, the guy who owns the <laughs> place gave a discount. Apparently you did! <laughs> the guy who owns the place gave a discount. Bro. Yeah. Right. You can drop yourself down over here in the pub, Han. Yeah, I'll yeah. just use the uh, new piece of art. Oh, you got oh. new art? Oh, it was the uh, alternate version. Let me find it. Oh damn it! I meant to grab a 
weapon wall, I think. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'll just leave it. I think I had the old version that I never used because uh, you said to use the other one, so I didn't use the old one. Uh, let mm. me find it. Hmm, where is it? I don't see it, but I know it's here. <laughs> Damn it. Doesn't matter. Just drop yourself down. Yep. Yeah. I've got one. Got something for it. Cool. Give me a moment. While you're doing that, I'm gonna quickly find some bar ambience. Yay! Alright. Mm. Yep. As you enter the bar, uh, Father Rack, you notice yes. some loud individuals in the corner harassing the uh, the barmaid. And you notice uh, the guy who made you your armor is sitting over here at a table with some boys. Coincidentally, the guy who gave you a quest, or asked you to assist you in a quest. Ah, it's the fellow faithful and the craftsman. He says, quite happy to see faces that aren't filthy infidels. Ah, come here, father. We have some drinks for that. Hey, sounds good, sounds good. Sigma are pretty string. What's uh, that? Why not? Yeah, why not? Uh, I don't know if they do or not, so... I mean, Sigmar doesn't <laughs> seem like a kind of pushover who'd be upset about. Yeah. But... Sigmar will call you gay if you don't. Sigma is basically Conan the Barbarian, yeah. I don't think he'll mind. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. There we go, I've got the track I'm looking for, I just need to input it into the bot. If I remember where I put the bot. Here's the bot. <clears throat> uh, what are the soldiers up to, I guess? They're fucking grabbing the ass of the woman and like <laughs> fucking shoving her around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I can use my fancy skills because uh, real life me doesn't actually know that much about this. Uh, uh, um, what, what is it? Uh, lore theology? I would like to think about if this is actually a problem. Um, yeah. Oh, that, that seems fair. Hey. Can, you call it, can you call it the number, please? Uh, 39 out of 40, or, you know, versus 47. Mm, okay. Yes, this would be completely inappropriate. Okay, well, in that case, I finish my drink, angrily stand up and walk up to them and say, Hey, cut it out! Who are you? <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. You dare speak that way to a priest of Sigmar? Don't give a shit who the fuck you are. Another round, bartender. Infidel! He just ignores you and turns around back to his beer. Well, I don't care how much you respect me, or if you're a filthy infidel, but you're going to keep your hands off that wench. <laughs> oh, this wench is coming upstairs with me later. Aren't you, lass? Uh, no, I'm no, he he makes absolutely no attempt to look cool about this. He's just yeah, saying what he believes. Now, if it does look cool, that's a side effect. Yeah. Would you like to roll a cool test? No. <laughs> to be cool. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, so what ranks do these guys have? They they are uh, just regular troops. They're like. Are they the same rank as me then? Yeah, what, what's your current rank? Or what is your current I'm career level? Crew, so career one. You're just career one. Okay, they they are the career two, basically. Okay. You, you were a recruit, these guys are full on guys. Alright. Yeah. They just 
turn. They just look at the uh, the, the, the ginger faggot, the ti the two tiny fellas over there, and they're like, "Ah, what are you doing with them lot?" Are you a racist here? <laughs> Uh, fucking cunts, the lot of you, he just goes back to string. Fucking pricks. Oh. I, I will, uh, in an ironic fashion, I'll just say, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. It's all, you know. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> molesting the woman. <laughs> it's, a it's a tough job, but someone has uh, to do it. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. I'm just gonna go to the barman and say, uh, excuse me, Hera. Yeah. Do Von Zem kicked out or are they fine as they are? Oh, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, because the cop is like right here. <laughs> yeah. However, he's like, he's passed out on his beer. Alright. Yeah. I'll just lean over and whisper to Skog. Oh, he's asleep. He just passed out. All right. Well, yeah. I'll just pretend like I'm whispering to him. Yeah. Be like, oh yeah. We'll just lean over to you two and say, "I'll just load my gun." <laughs> He's just casually loading his gun. Yeah, just in the middle gun. of the bar. <laughs> and I, I'm going to, well, knowing that I have approval from the uh, owner here, I'm going to uh, warn them very sternly. Get out, or the twin-tailed comet shall smite ye. Oh, fuck off. I'll just say my yeah. gun at him and say, Five <laughs> seconds, here. <laughs> By the way, this isn't a bluff, so... I, no, I, this I, isn't... I, as you say, the twin tail will smite ye, they go, oh, fuck off, and they stand up. <laughs> Roll okay. initiative. Uh, uh, let me mark uh, this guy you're talking to as the, uh, the leader. There you go. I still have my tankard, if that counts as a weapon. Oh yeah, you can use it. You also have a dagger. Oh, yeah I do. Yeah. Let me roll initiative for them. In that case, I'll go with the dagger. Uh, okay, initiative, where the hell is that on this one? Uh, yeah, it's the very bottom left, just above gold coins. Ah, found Make it. sure you click on your token, it's the same yep, as Yep, that's why I'm yeah. not doing it yet. Are you taking part in the initiative one? Yeah. Yep. Just real quickly. Uh, play something. Ten. In the meantime, they shove the woman aside. She like falls over a table, like knocks a couple of chairs over. Yeah, yeah they're being absolute pricks. So I believe I've been doing it this initiative wrong. It's actually the other way around. Oh. Isn't it? Huh? That lower is higher in the initiative order in this? No, because no, no, your guess. agility gets put into it, so unless you're implying oh, okay. that your agility yeah, makes fair it enough. slower. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, well then I'll just do it normally then. Right. They get to move first. One of them turns to you, Colt Rack, And he just fucking headbutts you. Uh, let me... So he's, does he have a brawling thing? He doesn't. Let me just roll brawling for him. Because we should just be flat weapon skill. He headbutt. He attempts to headbutt you, Colrack, and misses <laughs> because he sucks. In fact, he fell over. <laughs> Wait, would would outright assaulting a priest of Sigmar qualify them as enemies of Sigmar? You are an acolyte, so. No, I'm a priest. Remember? Oh, you're right. You are a priest. Yeah, yeah, I've been through this already. Uh, like, I, 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 I yeah, mean, yeah, like, I forgot. Being right. an acolyte. No, no, I didn't mean like yeah. I, I didn't mean like you forgot. I meant like yeah. I've been through the acolyte stuff. I am yeah, yeah. A no, you're right. Priest. I forgot that you had leveled up. Um, yeah. Um, they wouldn't be outright heretics, but it certainly would be a taboo. 
they would be in a lot Afterwards, of trouble. Afterwards, would I be able to do? Th would I be okay? Yeah. In this, if I am defending myself against these people, would mm -hmm. would Sigmar adequately be okay with me hurting them? Yes. Okay, that is a very they important. They assault. They attempt to needed. assault you, and then fell over. That's what I mean. In yeah, fact, Sigmar might have intervened. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Sorry, that was an important distinction yeah. I needed. Sigmar might have inter intervened to defend you. He shoved him over. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, that is their turn. He fucking fell over. Oh, how big is a square in this system? It's supposed to be a meter, but, uh... I... This was a, a, a thing I met off the cuff last week. Let, cool. me, fit, let me adjust that. Uh, would it be yard? Because it seems like the descriptions they use in this game are based on. Yeah, I just put it in meters, but uh, we can work out that later another time. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. sorry, I'm only asking because it is relevant. Go on. Oh yeah, no worries. Yep. It is your turn, Cole, right? A guy attempted to headbutt you, you, and the Sigmar struck him down. I, I, I warned you. Uh, are all three of these guys being problems? Well, they've all stood up. And they're all facing you. Uh, in an unfriendly manner. Yes, they're they were they're about to reach for their weapons. Oh, all right. I warned you. The twin tail comet smite ye. Yep. Uh, you invoke litanies to Sigmar, calling on him to smite his foes. A twin-tailed comet, blazing a trail of fire in its wake, plummets from the heavens to strike a point within line of sight and range. Everything within fellowship bonus yards of the point of impact suffers 1d10 plus SL damage. I don't know what that is. What page Ignoring is this on? <laughs> I need to read this. Oh, uh, 226. It's right at the bottom of 226. Uh, what's the radius on that? <laughs> yeah, that's why I need to look well, at that's, well, I'm gonna. Well, obviously I'm going to target it far enough away where it doesn't hit me. Two, and uh, the radius would be 4 <laughs> yards because I am quite a uh, fellowship. So you're Null. dropping a comment on the city of Null. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, correct. Uh, yes. So, four yards would be. Yeah, that's why I'm targeting it out. Uh, you know, like on the outside. Where the... Okay. <laughs> yes. So you're trying to okay. cast a miracle of Sigmar. Okay. How do I yes, do I'm miracles? Because uh, uh, I have You've invoked. got the invoke talent. Okay. Yep. You nice. need to roll something to determine what, that. I th I guess it's prey. Cool. Keep your praying home. May yeah. Sigmar have mercy on your souls. Yeah, you're gonna have to roll. After I smite you with the comet! Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna be flat as well. There I'm not go. gonna give you a bonus. <laughs> there you go. Two 34 two bonus. versus 57. But, uh, no, I got no, with, without any bonus, there it is. Yeah. Oh, SL success level. Okay. Yeah. So it's. So it would be. A, I guess it'd be 1d10 plus 2. Yeah. Oh no. Twin tail comet, you invoke to in, 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 uh, so Sigma or then in my suppose twin tail comet blaze. Oh, and they get the ablaze condition. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> yeah, Sigma, Sigma answers your your prayer, your prayer. That <laughs> he fucking strikes the bar and just <laughs> perfectly hits this this exact area right here that they happen to be standing at, destroying like half the like what like a fourth of the building is just smashed and is currently on fire. Uh, these guys all take one d ten. You what? You know what? Go rack. Roll one d ten. One d ten plus two. Yeah. <laughs> By Sigma! <laughs> oh yeah. They are all on fire and are currently dead. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. I didn't have to waste my ammunition. <laughs> I, yeah. I I say a, I say a silent prayer, not not because I care about them, but in like you know a silent prayer, thanking him for the comet. Yep, to, to Sigmar. Yeah. And I, uh, I look to the bartender and say, "You're welcome." The bartender <laughs> is like, you know, like you know, the native American with the trash I... on that beach. He's just like single tear, <laughs> like my bar. No. And I and I look to the wench, 
Never again shall you be harassed by these wicked oh, men. They start screaming and running away from you. Ah, <laughs> uh, all in a day's work of the righteous. You know, I don't think I've actually killed anyone before, huh? <laughs> Where are you? Guys? Well, there's a first time for everyone. <laughs> the first three times, apparently. Uh, Mr. Copperhead suddenly wakes up with the loud bag and it's like, Oh, what happened? Did are Earth these men broke so long? Did Earth <laughs> break wind again? They threatened the priest of Satan. These, these, these degenerates were harassing women and refusing to vacate the property when they decided to assault me, so I summoned a comet to smite them. <laughs> so you decided to destroy half the property? Okay, <laughs> works for me. <laughs> it like pays the tab. <laughs> There you go. It's probably best we move on. <laughs> there are heroic deeds to be done elsewhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I had a good feeling ever since I saw you were a fellow believer, and uh, you know, I, 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 I've already accomplished more than I have my entire life to this point, and yeah, it feels good making the world a better place. Let, let's, <laughs> let, let's go uh, talk about our, our plans. Oh As we walk out of the bar, I will just give the bartender one last look and say, Don't worry, and keep. If you need our help, we are available anytime. I need someone to repair the massive hole in the side of a bar. Anytime. <laughs> Also, he says as he's like walking out of the bar. <laughs> also, it's currently on fire. On, so just use the... <laughs> no, don't try the... <laughs> you just hear, a, as you walk out, a large... Yeah, the, the sound that someone throwing alcohol onto a flame. <laughs> wow. As he's like, no, not this. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Whatever there's heroic deeds to be done, we will be there. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need the common people. Just, yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking, I did a good thing. Yep, you did <laughs> yeah, a very yeah, good yeah. thing, and you currently have set the Elven District ablaze. Oh, I did hell a very yeah. good thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the Elven District is where the gunnery school is. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, I'm that sure only had a four-yard radius. I mean, uh, oh. It only had a four-yard radius. I really doubt it did that much to the neighborhood. Oh, we'll see how it spreads. You know <laughs> what? Uh, where was the bar? I think there was a bar over here. That's the wrong color. <laughs> Just roll to see how, what, how far the radius of the fire is. There you go. <laughs> the fire spreads. There's a fire there in the Kaufman District. Yeah. It's right at the edge of the Elven District. Right. Yep. So you find yourselves in the streets of no fleeing the scene of. Let's go to another bar and see what's going on. Yep. As you, uh. You know what? Rightfully dis dispatched <laughs> some state troops that were being a problem. Mm -hmm. No one's above the law. <laughs> yeah. I like how, how Skog is a cop who's supposed to be protecting this district and he's not here. <laughs> yep. But okay, that's fine. Right. You go and you find the next bar because there's only two bars in this district. Hell yeah. Yeah. I believe that was the wine bar. You go to the less less uh, fancy bar around the corner where all the cops hang out. Can you roll me a D100, someone? No, no. No, no, no. 97. <laughs> So you walk into a bar that coincidentally looks somewhat similar to the previous one you were in. Oh, nice. Yeah, and you all take Hold a Hold on, this has four walls. Oh, <laughs> guys! I broke the fourth wall. Oh. Oh, shit. They're actually kind of... There are four the walls in this place as well. So shit. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yep. You may take a seat in the bar. Yep. Yeah. That was 97 year old. 
He still he still looks abnormally pleased with himself. Yeah. Not not quite in a smug way, but more like a oh yeah, I finally beat that boss that I spent a week trying to beat. Hell yeah. I'm a <laughs> yeah. Souls master type of pleased with himself. You have the look on your face, correct that yeah, I done a good deed today. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Uh, ah, we'll do. As you're in the bar, suddenly you hear a scream from the woman standing by the door there. She's like, this man is pickpocketing me! Stop him! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know if there's like some, you know, aura of believability that that emanates from someone who just murdered three people, <laughs> or, it, it, it just justifiably killed. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I would like to say, you might wish to rethink your actions, Sonny. <laughs> uh, can everyone roll initiative? Like, oh, can I not roll an intimidate or something? Yeah, can you roll an intimidate and then? So do I'm trying initiative? to. I'm trying to. Well, I'm hopefully going to stop him from fighting at all, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, make an intimidation. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but he's not going to fight. I, he was trying to run away. Un but, yeah. Unless I had like a bonus or whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> his 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 goal is more so to run away than to fight you. How do his ears look? How do his ears look? Do they seem pointy through the cowl or the hood? Make a perception test. Just a All flat right. one. While I try to find a uh, a thief sheet NPCs that'll do what did you roll? six degrees of failure <laughs> no no he's definitely uh, not well he, <laughs> you never know he might be an elf he might be an elf I don't know I've just realized we're bootleg cops at this point <laughs> Stop right there, girl. What you gonna do with the company? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so? You know, I didn't. Ha I wasn't planning on it going this way, but it, ju it just happened. We're law and order, so no. <laughs> law, <laughs> no law and order. Hell yeah. I need to roll an uh, initiative for him. Let's do the descending order. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to do Okay, I'll, I'll do Mr. my uh, initiative. Mr. Siegbert uh, R. Okay. Uh, um, oh yeah, ro roll it anyway, call rack and update it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, did. I just did. Sigmund Meyer. Uh, right. Half aim point black ring. Go for it. <laughs> Let's just shoot a pickpocket with a musket. <laughs> you have it loaded. Just, like the, just, just like the Founding Fathers intended. Yes. <laughs> Go for it. Well, I finish reading the sentence. Okay, can I yell and intimidate before I do the shot? Just to get him to stand down. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'll just yell stop or I'll shoot. Do I get a bonus for having a massive gun? Yeah. What's the bonus? Ten. Bro. Uh, what's the bonus, Cross? A uh, bonus of ten. As you oh, were right. drilled with this weapon. Okay, he's still running. <laughs> okay. You the fire and it goes through the wall. Right, let's uh, roll to hit. Find my gun. Hmm. Oh, you've. <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. I. Oh, God. I hit him in the left leg. Versus I 113? Do, I do 14 damage to his left leg, ignoring. Do you have 113 points in. No, it's point blank range, and I. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you blast him with your, uh, with your gat. Yeah, in the left leg. Uh, Jesus Christ for 11. What is. In his... fact, I can do uh, 19 damage because of the, using the unit's die for extra damage instead. What is his wounds? I... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Just blow a hole in his leg and he bleeds out the floor too the first one. <laughs> oh, nice. He only has 13 <laughs> wounds and that's like what, like 14? <laughs> uh, I did 19 damage, so yeah. 19 uh, damage. <laughs> He's fucking blown whatever away. Whatever his toughness and armor is. Uh, I don't even know if he wears metal armor, so. Yeah. Is that your I turn? For... Isn't, it, isn't the fight over? Is it? Uh. Is that your turn, Stu? Uh, I guess so, yeah, we've yep. stopped the thief. There we go. Yep. The uh, woman goes, Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's right here. She, like, holds up her wallet. Well, whoever that guy was <laughs> looked shifty, so fuck him. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she scream out that her wallet was being taken? Anyway, yeah, she thought her wallet was taken. The thing says someone screamed out. The wallet was been taking, however, false alarm. Oh well. <laughs> Let's search the guy anyway and see what. All right, you can. He's up to. Uh, I was expecting Han to go and pull back his hood. But... You there, Han? Yes, yeah, I'm having to uh, type something. Some... Yeah, no worries. You may search the boy. Make a perception test. Whoever is searching the boy, because <laughs> he has been blasted away. Mark off a uh, round, uh, Stu. Oh, yeah. yeah. It went through him and into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I will, I will say to him that I... Uh, to... to uh, what's your character's name, Stu? Oh, so it's Sid Meier. <laughs> ah, okay. I keep calling him Sid Meier, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I say to, uh, to Sid Meier that I... It is good to to show force where it is necessary, but restraint is also sometimes warranted. Well, perhaps, Father. Yeah. But he really should have just surrendered. I mean, you know, this was kind of his fault. Yeah. Let's see what he has on him. Make a perception test. Oh, really test. nice to you. What wound to the leg. If you hear the people whispering, that's them talking about you. <laughs> the blue guy's leg off. You find a a uh, like a club on him, like a nice sturdy wooden club. Ooh! A hand weapon. Ooh! Yeah, this guy was up to no good. <laughs> Anything else on him? Any papers or whatever? Um. Roll me another D one hundred. Ooh. Well, hmm. Can I find a table? Ah, you know what? You know I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this book. Go to this page. <coughs> find a. There's like something in his pocket. It's like a long, not long, but a uh, not a metal bar about like what, like 15 inches long. No, mm. that's six inches. Sorry, six inches long in his pocket. Ah, uh, yeah. A metal like, bar. Would you like to investigate what it is? Yeah. Yeah, you take it out, and it uh, it's like an ear pick. An ear like pick. Covered in earwax. He's been cleaning Ooh, his ears with it. Goddamn. Yeah. Made of metal as well. Yeah, it's a little metal ear pick. That's extravagant for an ear pick. <laughs> hmm. Yep. There's also a key in his person. Key? Yeah. Hmm. You may add the key to your inventory, or the and the ear pick if you wish to take it. <laughs> but it is I'll soiled. Put the ear pick in his mouth. <laughs> there we go. Okay, your dirty ear pick. Um, the barman asks you to leave as you keep assaulting his patron. <laughs> Are you assaulting? Isn't his this patron? a different bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just remembering. As you <laughs> assaulted one of his patrons, he's like, "Can you, uh, right. can you knock him back, please?" 
Ah, oh, no worries. You've been barred for, you know, shooting one of my customers. <laughs> He's been a loyal customer. You should have said something, mate. <laughs> well, <laughs> you went first in the initiative order and didn't get a chance to. <laughs> no, I yelled and intimidate, like, stop the yeah. thing. And then he yeah. didn't comply, so yeah. no one else said anything in the bar. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Like, don't shoot, he's not one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, I've added a mystery key to the thing. Yep, so mystery key. Get, I guess we'll leave, whatever. Yeah. Um, we'll see if cop, um, dogs, people can sort this out. Yeah. Do you like with someone else? You know what? Can each of you roll a D100? And we'll Yay. find you a quest by building one between three of you. Oh, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is Stu, then Colrack, and. Oh, um, I don't know if he's here. Yeah, Han might be typing. Yeah, sorry, I'm having to help someone out. Mm -hmm. With the thing. Uh, what's up? Uh, roll a D100. Very well. Ten. Ten, okay. So, ninety-three is an outrageous racketeer with an even more outrageous Bretonian accent. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it just past? <laughs> <laughs> uh, an outrageous yeah. Bretonian uh, racketeer. Uh, Fifty-six needs the characters to plant some evidence in the temple of Myrmidia. Fox? Uh... You know what? I, th I think I might say no to that one. Yeah, this, this is so they, really dodgy and sus. So they may distract <laughs> characters long enough to do something worse. I what? like how half the job offers are just like triggering sectarian violence and conflict. <laughs> yeah. Just for the meme, apparently. Oh. While wandering um, the town, you uh, pass a uh, cocky pistolier with his fancy Nuln accent. In fact, uh, Master Stu, you uh, you recognize him from the uh, the gunnery gunnery uh, school. Oh, he's like some uh, some one of the lieutenants who's currently you know training in the mm. school. Uh, he's like hanging out, listening to a. Uh, what are they called in Warhammer? There's a name for them. Uh, an agitator. Who was shouting about how uh, uh, the the lady, or the uh, Elector Countess of Gnome, of Wizenland, uh, Emmanuel von Libwitz, wishes to make women illegal. What? Yeah. What is this? Well, are you seeking to make women illegal? Yeah. But she Based. is a woman. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Yeah. There must be more to this. I'm interested. Let's listen to what he's saying. Yeah. No, he's just talking. <laughs> Judge Thomas. He, he is talking absolute horseshit. And, uh, make a, uh. He's a smear merchant. <laughs> he might be a smear merchant. Um. Where is the human character sheet? Dirty smear merchant. Yeah. He is just an agitator talking absolute horseshit. Uh, where is the... I'll just do a charm test for him. <laughs> and everyone is fucking throwing rotten vegetables at him. Oh man, he's yeah. got cancelled pretty yeah. hard on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, the, I do um... like the idea that Twitter back then was just standing on your soapbox going, Guys, I have something to tell you. <laughs> Well, yeah. He, uh. The pistolier notices you and gives you a wave. And he asks you, uh. Oh, how are you doing? Who are these people? You with you? Ah! Yeah, hell. Yeah, these are just some friends and com uh, companions. I'm slipping French. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Friends and companions of mine. Uh, these are uh, two dwarfs and, uh. A holy father of Sigmar. Ah, yes, praise Sigmar. Oh, yeah. 
What can I do for you, Hal? Ah, yeah, we're... What do you think of this Joseph Ausfliegler? I don't know how to fucking pronounce this name. Here you go, I'm gonna post it. In the... In the chat. How do you pronounce this? Jo Joseph Ausfliegler? Fliegler? Uh, Joseph Ausfliegler, yeah. Yeah, he's uh... Some some prick trying to incite riots again. In fact, where is the town watch? He's wanted. <laughs> he like looks around for like a watch. I have members of the watch right here, huh? Ah. You have the authority to act if needed. Yeah. And uh, before you can respond, he has snuck away. Oh dear. Everyone is fucking throwing shit at him. Hmm. Yeah. You might want to write that name down. It might come up again in the future. Okay, okay. He is a wanted agitator in the city of Noon. Hmm. Tell you what. Uh, go around. How about, instead of trying to find a job, we do what I suggested earlier and go to the rich people and see if they will donate to the temple? Well, I'm up for trying. Yeah, there's something to do at least. <laughs> yeah, the random table is not working. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe one of the nobles will give us better results on the random table. <laughs> do you know any nobles? No, we'll just wander into the quarter and see suss out what nobles live here and if they might be interested. You happen to know a minor noble. Huh? Really? The banker is a minor noble. Don't know if he'll be interested in giving Sigmar to... So. If there's any nobles who are faithful to Sigmar, they might be especially pleased with how we've been smiting heretics and infidels. Yeah. I'm dealing with pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> Alleged pickpocket. Yeah, well. Turned out we'll he let the cops figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might have took my stuff. Oh, oh, no, it's here. Never mind. This fucking bag got him. <laughs> Blew his leg off. Well, nothing alleged about the three guys I killed. Yeah, no, they, they were cunts. <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll get to the noble quarter or wherever that is. Um, you're kind of in it anyway. The noble quarter okay. is basically like here ish. Alright, um, yeah. I guess we'll wander around and see if there's. What? What? Family estate reside in the city and suss out what Hang on. families they are. Uh, what is your current status, Master Stu? Three silver. Yeah. Three silver. Yep. Colrex one silver, and Han is. I think he's three brass. Three or four, anyway. It's it's really weird that I have the best status when I'm not even like a proper soldier yet, apparently, because um, mm -hmm. I don't have the XP to buy level two. <laughs> oh, did you not? No, you uh, need 100 XP yeah. to get level 2. Well, you also need the status to get to level 2. I, I think I have the status, but yeah. I just yeah. don't have the fucking the, the yeah. XP, so... No worries. So as you walk to the Noble Quarter, a lot of the like people on the street just stare at like the uh, dirty dwarf <clears throat> with the ginger hair. Fucking least. As he stands out as out of place, as he is not a uh, clean and well kept individual. I'm out. Yep. In reality, he's just there looking at the two of us, thinking, "Oh my god, these guys are psychos." <laughs> <laughs> two of the town guard come over to uh, escort him out of the uh, inner city. Whoa! Oh, that's racist. That's racist. But you mate. can you can easily you know explain to them that uh he is not a homeless person. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll Listen, make out these like, the are friends. warrior of the 
Oh no, you know what? We'll say like the dwarves have like a weird religious order, so he's like a Chad warrior that fights, you know, with Make a charm goes, test. rich stuff, you know, all that stuff. Oh, like should a warrior I do it? monk, basically, of the dwarves. You, we'll either say. of you can do it. I'll, I'll go for it. Korak, if you're doing it, you have plus 20. Because you have your plus 10 from your chat armor. <laughs> your fine okay. quality armor that haunted you. I rolled 90, so it still failed. Yep, they don't believe you. They're like, yeah, as if so, some such order exists. Just keep him out of trouble. Alrighty. Understood. They we do we not. are not troublemakers. <laughs> you did not convince them. <laughs> you did not convince them that the Slayer Order exists. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll fucking. You wanna head to the nobles. Imperial Palace? Or the, the local palace? Or are you heading to the bank? I don't know where you're heading. No, I, I want to. I don't actually want to go to either of them. I want to just figure out which families live here. Ah. And see if we can like partition them. Basically, is the idea. I don't particularly have a list of that in front of me. However, I can tell you that the local make an intel a general intelligence check to just see how much information I tell you. Uh, okay. You can do so as well, Korak, to assist. Um, rolling what again? Uh, just intelligence. Huh. As neither neither of you known. Uh, uh, might, might do it for Skog. Wait, is is I the int one? Int, yeah, int. Uh, Skog is actually from known, so I'm going okay, to make rolled. a roll for him. Because he should know this. Well, he's not here. Uh. Let's see. Oh, lower wisdom. Let's all do. Bro, what did you roll? He <laughs> fucking fucked. He's thirty three out of thirty. He, he's just drooling in the corner. <laughs> he's still yeah, drunk. Bro. He was also one off of success. Oh, is he only one yeah. off? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It, been a crit it is a fumbling failure, though. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Fellas, maybe we should just leave this shitty city and go somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Han, would you like to make an intelligence check? As you have been uh, accosted by some guards who uh, thought you were some homeless man. Uh, intelligence test. Well, they, they have left and now they're you're trying to find uh, one of the noble families in the area. Alright. Sure thing, any modifiers? Nope, just a flat one. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Where so, am I? you're okay, aware. So we're all stupid, got it. Yeah. You, you would be aware that the main, like the prominent noble family in Null is the von Leibwitz family. You would also be aware that, uh,. I guess everyone except uh, Father Rack, who is not met her yet. You'd be aware that um, uh, uh, Benedicta Ingrid would uh, might know people. I'll uh, relay that to the party and say uh, maybe we should just uh, look around for the Bewitz family. Mm. Ask, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll figure out where they live. Um, oh, that would be the massive palace here at the very top of the city. Really? Yeah. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this, but... You know, all the other jobs don't seem to be good, so we'll just go right to the yeah. top and be like, We Excuse need me. a job! The further... Excuse me, sir, do you need... A expendable group of, ad of adventurers with a lack of moral scruples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the further into the city you go, the the every now and again, like more guards come to escort the homeless man out of the noble district. 
to the point where it just becomes normal. <laughs> All right, we have to keep you going. Yeah, uh, like, keep yeah. explaining the way it. I'll try and like hand wave it continuously. It's just going like, why do you think? Why the fuck do you think a homeless man would even be here in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, trying to bluff like, why do you think I would be here without a purpose? Don't you yeah. think some of your pals would have escorted me off the property already? <laughs> Can you make a charm test, Han? Yeah. Do I get a bonus? You get plus thirty because you have really oh, fine okay. armor. Nice. Yeah. You might be scruffy as fuck, but your armor looks amazing. Exactly. Hmm. Well, I like how charm animal requires willpower rather than fellowship. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Raw sixty nine. <laughs> I don't fail that badly. You didn't fail that badly. <laughs> yeah, you uh... The thing you just said is exactly what happens. And they... They just leave you alone. But every now and again people come up to escort you away and then they leave you alone. Just continuously go, do you think a homeless man could afford this kind of armor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is why they didn't believe that he was actually a slayer. Because <laughs> he's wearing armor. <laughs> and eventually yeah. you arrive at the palace of the Von Libwitz family. Well, of the Elder Count of No. I assume you wish to enter. Yes. So yeah, you may enter into the, uh, the courtroom where Lady... Emmanuel von Liberitz is holding court and hearing complaints in commas. Oh no. From the uh the people of Null. Would you like to join the queue? I don't think that's the best way. Because there's only I eight people ahead of you. But we don't really have a complaint or a petition, we're just here to work. <laughs> Ah, oh, no. It ain't all... Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, what do you think, Korak? Uh, I'm not really thinking this is how you get a job, to be honest. Well, the problem but is, all the jobs really? are shit, and they're not really stuff my guy would really want to do. Like, he's not a criminal planting fucking false flags <laughs> on the church, is it a pyramid? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I had suggested that a, a patron might be a good idea, which is what you're looking for is a patron. Oh, okay. Mm. That's what their system calls a patron. Oh, man. You notice in the corner, kind of like, you know, pouring a jug of wine into a, uh, a fancy little goblet, is a, uh, a young man in his, uh, looks about 19-ish. Wearing Ooh. like a fancy like uh, hat. Mm. Yeah, fancy hat. He, he looks rich. <laughs> Do you have heraldry, Stu? I have no idea. Um, uh, lore heraldry. Do you have that? Uh, I have lore Averland, lore stay army. That's it. Do a lore stay army. That'll do. Right. Oh. Uh, oh shit! You know who it is. Really. Yeah, well, you don't know exactly who it is, but you recognize some insignia on him, on his um, coat of arms. You recognize that of I, I need to get this to work, please. It is not that one, it is the other one. It is that of Karl Heinz von Lewis. Karl Heinz von Lutz. He is the nephew of Lady Emmanuel von Lewis. That, that sounds more like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a minor noble might be better off than the main noble. <laughs> yeah. He is a baron. Is he? Hmm. Yes. Baron Karl Heinz von Lippitz. Alright. 
Well, let's see if he'll donate money to sick. <laughs> the Duchy of Amboston. Amboston is a city that is slightly to the or a town to the south of Nong, just outside here. Mm. Skog can easily tell you that, as uh, he right. is from this place. All right, you guys ready? Should we just chat walk up to? Yep. All right. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you all like spread out and do a white poot walk up to them? <laughs> 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 Alright, I want all of you to make charm tests. Oh hell yeah. Come rank you get a plus you get a plus ten and Han you get plus twenty from your chat armor. With plus. Uh so at the very top of the sheet on the left hand side it says ask modifier. Ask modifier. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't think your armor had a bonus uh, stew. No, it's just yeah. regular fucking leather and shit. Yeah, you didn't get uh, some of the shitty armor, did you? No. I think Skog <laughs> no. did, though. Wait, yeah. what does it mean, failure? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, he's so yeah. bad. Urs Bookman, as he's there, like, pouring his uh, wine, completely uh. ignores both of you. But he take, he catches the, the dwarf in the amazing armor, and massive <laughs> mohawk catches his eye. And he's like... <laughs> Oh, that is very fashionable armor there, sir. Where did you acquire such a fashionable garment? Ah, thank you. What is it myself? Ah, I must I must commission you to do something for myself. That is... Oh, I'd be more than willing fine, to help you with that, sir. Some fine craftsmanship. Say, we, uh, we were actually uh, in search of work, or, well, some form of uh, patronage in exchange for, uh, services oh. of an unconventional type. The unconventional type. Yes. Mind you, we are no ladies of the night. <laughs> he says jokingly. <laughs> he turns to you and is like, well, I'm rather disappointed, and he just smiles. <laughs> 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 he, he is playing along with your joke. Yeah. So, what say you? Do you know of any uh, worthwhile, uh, well, people of fine standing such as yourself in search for? Uh, well, I do, I do have a wine shipment that needs to be uh, brought to Null that uh, could require some security if that is the uh, type of business you're in, sir. Hmm. I'll uh, look to the rest of the party. Ah, uh, I think Fee could do that, Herr Dwarf. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely not. No objection. Yeah. Uh, we'd be happy to help you. So, uh, where would this uh, shipping be headed? Oh. If you give me uh, a moment, I shall finish my uh, <laughs> my goblet, <laughs> and uh, we can be on our way. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! Would you like to do a quick fast forward? Mm. Yeah. Here's the map. the map. I'm gonna try and remove the uh, previous marker. That is the entire map. No, what I want. You know what? I'll leave it. I'll do it. I'll do it later. You are currently in the city of Noon. Who I can never pronounce correctly. Never mind. Over there, the place where you're going is currently where the U is, I believe, or the N. It's it's somewhere in this vicinity here. It's not that far. Yes, you can easily just travel there straight away. <laughs> Simple milk run. Yep, yeah. quick milk run. Now, what do you wish to, or someone? You know what, Han, you've been away a while. Can you roll me a D100? Alright. 87. 87. I'm going to quickly grab the book that has road events. Hopefully this <laughs> is significantly more interesting events-wise. Uh... You know what, Coat Rack? 
as it is your yep. first session. Roll me a d3 to determine which table I'm going to roll on. Or I'm going to use Hans' roll on. Table number oh. one. You know what that is? Nope. That is Maybe. conveniently the positive table. <laughs> 34. Page 34. Yeah, pay, if you roll a three, it's the harmful encounters table. <laughs> Positive encounters. It's too neutral. Eighty-seven. Rest. Re <laughs> hmm? The journey is blissfully uneventful, and the characters <laughs> get good rest. <laughs> it's cute. It's oh, yeah. part is particularly inspiring, and perhaps the they meet they meet an NPC handler uh, or a helpful priest. <laughs> the characters well. can heal all wounds and recover all <laughs> fatigued conditions. Hell yeah! Nice. So everything you just want, everything you wanted, just happened. There you go. Actually, a smooth milk run. Nice. <laughs> it just turns out the noble's really cool, and we like him. Or whatever. Oh yeah, no, he's pretty chad. He's he like uh. He like pays you, uh. Let me roll a d10. You know what? I'm gonna roll two d10s. Because he's very cool. He pays you 18 silver pieces each. Damn. For thanking him with that short journey. And he's like, you know what? If, you've, if you're in need of any further work, please come see me. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Pretty good. Yes. I like how we just went outside, walked, flying to the city, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. Yay. I even rolled on the encounter table to see what kind of encounter you got. <laughs> well, I had Han roll which encounter, Colrec rolled which table, and it was the positive one. <laughs> there was me hoping for like a coincidental and or harmful encounter, but no. Yay, we did it. Yep. Did you it. had a, Save the city. a peaceful journey. You su successfully kept everything pretty chad in the city of Noon. Would you like to leave it there? Or would you like to do some more stuff? I think we should probably leave it there. <laughs> um, neutral on the subject. Yeah, uh, let's leave it there for now. Yep. You all meet up with everyone else in the bar. And we shall leave it there. Yay! Any final messages? Uh, Bad boys, <laughs> what you gonna do? I was gonna, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, don't harass women. You successfully so. killed three people while having a restful encounter. <laughs> All right. Well, don't you yeah, don't harass women or refuse to leave when you're being kicked out or attempt to assault a priest. Otherwise, a comet may hit and kill you and your friends. <laughs> also, make sure you follow cops when they tell you to not move. Because even though we're not cops, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, oh, if God. someone has Listen. a gun and tells you don't move, maybe don't move, you know. Listen to the vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we're kind of half cops because Skog is with us and he's a cop. He's actually not a cop anymore. He swapped to River Warden. Oh well, he's still yeah. some kind of law enforcement. He has the credentials still. Dude, yeah. it's like the <laughs> FBI just shot someone in the in the <laughs> randomly like a big bunker. Oh no! Don't worry, you're not, man. Not I'm even the FBI, for the federal like, government. The Coast Guard shot <laughs> <laughs> some big <laughs> cops in the city. <laughs> yeah, in fairness, they probably put it down as an accidental death because she no. did shout, "Oh fuck, I got pickpocketed." Yeah. Yeah, Lamau. All right, I think that's oh, pretty chill about these things. All right. So, I guess we leave it there. Hope yeah. that was fun for everyone, and we shall return next week. Have a good night. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah.